East Lansing real estate developer Scott Chappelle is suing the news organization East Lansing Info and its director Alice Dreger for libel over articles published about Chappelle's indictment for tax evasion and bank fraud. Chappelle is a developer who worked for years to get a project called Center City 2 off the ground in East Lansing. The project ultimately failed and the Graduate Hotel and the Abbott now stand on the downtown corner where it was meant to go. In June of 2020, a federal grand jury indicted Chappelle for tax and bank fraud, and Dreger published an article on East Lansing Info and an essay on public response. The clear gist or sting of the publication, um, of each publication, was that plaintiffs had were responsible and had caused years of blight in Michigan, um, East Lansing and Ann Arbor, cost the taxpayers millions of dollars due to fraudulent, criminal, corrupt, unethical and inept business practices. That's Daniel Powell, the attorney representing Scott Chappelle in this case. He says the article and essay didn't focus on Chappelle's indictment. So what exactly was published on those two outlets that was false? They lightly gloss over um, the current indictment um, and really just redirect the uh, gist of the publication to seeking or claiming some sort of validation over their years-long effort to try and paint Mr. Chappelle and his companies in that way. But Brian Wassum, the attorney representing Eli and Alice Dreger, says that's not the case. East Lansing Info is uh, doing its job as local reporters of keeping the uh, local citizens informed on uh, how how this development project has been going and uh, the various uh, ins and outs and, and, and negotiations that went behind it. Wasson believes none of what was published by Dreger was false. No, it's, it's nowhere near false. And if you, if you read um, what it is that he, they've actually alleged uh, to be actionable, um, it's not clear they even think it's false. Um, what's, what's very evident to me anyway, is that uh, he simply, uh, our reporters got under his skin um, more so than all the other people criticizing him, I suppose. But Powell says the publications drew misleading connections to things that had nothing to do with Chappelle's indictment. The current indictment has nothing to do with any development efforts by Mr. Chappelle or his companies in Michigan. Uh, has nothing to do with any public-private financing deals, has nothing to do with the City Center 2 project or Park District project. According to the court documents, statements in the article that are listed as slander include the blight downtown lasted for years and Chappelle is known as the developer whose actions caused prolonged blight. Powell says they asked Dreger to retract her publications, but Wassum says that isn't necessary. Journalism is for telling the truth and informing the people. And if the people who are the subject of that information don't like it, that's not a reason to take it back. Um, it's not a reason to uh, backpedal or, or soft pedal the news. East Lansing Info sought to dismiss the case, which Washtenaw Judge Timothy Connors denied. But he did agree to move the case to Ingham County. The lawsuit is about Ingham County uh, involving events in Ingham County. Uh, that is the natural location for the lawsuit to be heard. The judge agreed with us, so he didn't get to our arguments on uh, dismissing the charges on their merits. Chappelle is asking for damages in excess of $25,000. He's seeking injunctive relief, um, you know, for any uh, continued publication of uh, defamatory statements against him uh, by these defendants. Um, and, um, you know, he simply wants to... Um, be able to move on. There is no trial date set for this case yet. Chappelle's tax evasion and bank fraud trial is set for September. Your neighborhood reporter for East Lansing, Michaela Temple, Fox 47 News.